Hello, this video is to show you how to convert a MIDI file to a, a WAV file and then to an MP3 file uh, very quickly for free with a freeware program. And it does include the, uh, the inclusion of sound fonts. So the program is AIM-P3, I'm clicking on that now, and it looks like this. Just find it online, download the, the most recent version, it'll look very similar to this. And you need to, before you do anything with loading a MIDI file, you need to load your sound font. So it's going to be this upper left tab. You'll click on that and go down to where it says plugins. And you'll go to where it says MIDI and click on the sprocket. And then select your sound font from wherever you have it saved on your computer. Then hit apply. And then close that. And then you want to load your song, your MIDI file. So you just click the plus sign in the bottom to add the file or the, or the whole folder if you want. And here are all my MIDI files. And we will do, let's do this slow wedding march in flower MIDI file. These are some MIDI files I created online. So I'm going to click open. And now, and we'll get rid of the birch one. Let's remove. So we have slow wedding march in flowers. And this is a MIDI file, so it should play now. <laughs> mess with the equalizer and balance and volume and all that later but our goal is to convert this to an mp3 so the next step we need to go to the third little tab over it looks like a plus sign it's called utilities and go to audio converter you can also hit control plus k this will open a separate window that kind of operates as a separate program so i noticed that for this one i had to redo the plugins options so go to options go to plugins, go to MIDI, sprocket, do the same thing that we did before, and then we need to add our files that we're going to convert. So same thing as before, add files, slow wedding, march and flowers, open, here it is, and we want to convert it to a WAV file. We have many different options, OGG is in there, uh, WAV, and we select our quality right here, 40, let's go a little bit higher quality there. 4-bit stereo, okay. So uh, then we're going to name the file. And there's some auto naming options here too. I just haven't played with them. So let's do this. Wedding March in Flowers. And you want to keep this as it is where it's a single source, single result. And then make sure these boxes are checked on the left side. You want to select the folder that it's going to go into. And that's the output folder. And then all you do is click start, and it takes that long. I assume that you can do this with a batch of files. I haven't played with that yet. But if now we go into, if we remove the MIDI version of it, and then we add the WAV version, so if we sort this by type, at the very bottom we'll have our WAV. Wedding March and Flowers, and it's a WAV file now. I could also open this with iTunes. Okay, so there it is. And now from this point, I can convert it to an MP3 player. Create an ACC version or an MP3 version through, through iTunes. And that way you can play it, or even as WAV, you can play it without having to have a, a sound font or a MIDI converter. And that's how you convert a MIDI file for free using the sound font from uh, MIDI to WAV. Hopefully that will save you some of the headaches that I ran into. Have a wonderful day.